the doco that revived interest in the whole genre of um, Aussie exploitation, which is not quite Hollywood. Uh, it's been released in Britain as well, this DVD, and I'll probably presume a North American release is coming soon, but this is the double disc. It's a great little addition to get. It's got uh, trailer wheels and other special features on it. It's a fantastic little doco. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It came with um, a booklet as well, which is great. It's got a lot of poster art in it. You definitely get that little booklet too along with it, but um, stay tuned. We're moving at a cracking pace today, so um, hold on to your seats. Well, you could say that Brian Trenchard Smith is like the king of Ozploitation. And yeah, I think that's probably a fair statement. And this is a bit of a showpiece for Grant Page. Coming out very soon on Covery DVD, in fact, is Stunt Rock. I think there's going to be a few different special features on the US disc compared to this one. But um, yeah, a bit of cheesy 70s rock with um, stunts thrown in and all that sort of stuff. So check it out. Grant Page again in Death Cheaters. This also has Danger Freaks as a feature film as well. So it's a double disc edition. You can only get this in Australia. Only been released here, so there's Death Cheaters. Oh, The Man from Hong Kong. Man, this is a great film. And again, Grant Page did most, a lot of the stunts, sorry, in this one. And great special features there as well. It's another double disca. And I'll tell you what, it's a vast improvement on this old roadshow VHS. <laughs> And another one from the 80s, uh, Brian Trenchard Smith with Dead End Driving, and good film. I love the uh, soundtrack to this. A lot of Aussies would recognise the songs from the 80s. Yeah, check that out. The other one was BMX Bandits. I haven't got a copy of that one to show you, but there you go. I still haven't bought the DVD of this one, of Turkey Shoot. I'll have to get it, but anyway, there's the old roadshow. That's another Aussie film there, Last of Knuckle Man, which is on DVD. That one is a battle truck. Oh, I think um, bootlegs you can get of that one. That's a little surprise in the middle. Here's another one I've got to get the DVD of, Next of Kin, very atmospheric little film, a um, bit like The Shining. I don't mind this film, it's quite light on the violence, but there you go, Next of Kin. Brownie. Brownie. It's not even there. You there, man? Of course I'm fucking here. We're trying to buy some of that dope, mate. Haven't had it for two days, man. No, you ripped out of your mind. No, I'm real sick, man. Sorry to give it up. Haven't had it for days, man. Can't you see I'm sick? Oh, fuck it. See you later. If you do find some shit, don't forget your old mate. Yeah, sure, man. Pure shit. A druggy film from the 70s. Basically about four junkies trying to score heroin on the streets of Melbourne and they, you know, go around stealing and trying to get stuff off their friends. Um, this has been given amazing DVD treatment from Beyond Entertainment, who I have to say really emerging as a, as a very good DVD releaser, I suppose you could say. And, um, yeah, it pretty much explains what it's like. We'll have a look at the disc. It's really good. It's got a little booklet in it. It's got the film there itself, the interviews and special features and the soundtrack. I love the soundtrack in particular. It's not exactly in hi-fi stereo, but <laughs> um, it's kind of like Melbourne pub rock of the 70s, and it's really good. So, yeah, definitely get your hands on pure shit. It's a great, great DVD. The film itself is pretty visceral, but, yeah, definitely worth a look. This was also released by Beyond Entertainment, and they've done a great job with this one. It's Fantastic soundtrack. The print looks beautiful. There's a special features and audio commentary and all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, fair game is is it's great fun actually. I'll enjoy this film. Lady Stay Dead. This is a very hard video to find. It was released in North America as well. Directed by Terry Burke, who passed away now. Um, this isn't a great film. It's kind of a bit of an exploitation film, but not terribly well made. Um, not sure if that'll ever get released on DVD, but there it is on Sim Home Video. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Burke also directed Night of Fear and In of the Dam. This is touted as the first Australian horror film, very similar to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but it was made the year before. Um, but I don't think it was the first Australian horror. I think there was a, an early one back in the 40s or something. Um, but this is a good one to get. And again, it's an umbrella release. It's got 
pretty good prints and special features and whatnot. So, In of the Damned is like a, a, a sexy Western Australian horror film. So, bizarre little film that one. Coming out very soon on DVD is Nightmares. The DVD cover looks very similar to this. This is just the old roadshow in the opaque cover. Directed by John Lamond, along with Brian Trenchard Smith, you could say he was a king of exploitation as well. The acting's really bad, the plot is ridiculous, but if there's one thing going for this film is that the murders in it are really, really pretty nasty. <laughs> really can't show you much of that. <laughs> but yeah, check it out on DVD very soon. Here's another early Le Mans film with Felicity. This is the old road show. It's coming out on DVD um, by Severin in the US and Umbrella Entertainment here. And there's the Aussie disc there. Instead of gaining gratification from violence, we should get our satisfaction from love. Now, isn't that food for thought? Well, this came out just this weekend, Australia After Dark and the ABC of Love and Sex Australia style. These haven't been available for like 25 years or so when it was released on home video. Um, again, John Lamont film. Um, this is the 82 minute version. There, is, there isn't a trailer for that film on this one. Um, the trailer is for the X rated version, which ran 90 minutes and I believe was released in 84. So, unfortunately, no trailer for that. But yeah, look, it's, you've got to see it. It's just pure trash, kind of like Aussie Mondo, really cheesy shit. John Lamont also made this uh, Pacific Banana, and this is part of the Sexy Oz Retro Collection. There were three released by Umbrella Entertainment, and that's one of them. True story of Eskimo Nell, again the pink cover, Sexy Eyes Retro Collection. Um, I wasn't too fond of this film, it doesn't really work, it's kind of like a western sex film. And also this one, Phantasm, and Phantasm comes again. Umbrella did a very naughty thing, they actually stuck the X-rated versions on it, even though it's marked as R-rated. <laughs> so um, definitely check that out, you can often pick that up for like $5 in store, but they don't come in the pink cover anymore early adult entertainment again <laughs> with libido. This film was heavily cut in Britain. They cut like um, a whole section, a whole story involving an affair between a nun and a priest. Got a little booklet in there and stuff. And the naked bunyip. You could say this film basically led to the shake up of censorship in this country. Um, has Graham Blundell playing a gay reporter. Well, there's Graham Blundell as Alvin Purple. <laughs> um, this has been released a couple of times on DVD by Village Roadshow, but it's currently out of print. Um, but there's the old roadshow there. Alvin Writes Again was the sequel. I don't have a copy of it, but I've got the other one, Alvin, Son of Alvin, on Roadshow Home Video there. And um, this is not on DVD at this stage. Body Melt, directed by Philip Brophy. Early 90s sort of horror splatter type of film. Reasonably low budget, but it's, it's quite funny. I, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Salt, saliva, sperm and sweat. Again, directed by Philip Brophy. This is an earlier film from the 80s. Looks like an adult film, yeah? Wrong. <laughs> well, that pretty much explains what it's about. Well, this is a really strange little film. And it basically follows four days in the life of this guy in a mundane job, but focuses on various bodily functions. Dark Room is another little quirky Aussie thriller from the early 80s and this one got a VHS release in North America as well I believe but that's the old road show really hard to find that one now and no DVD release of that this is not your country <laughs> Romper Stomper was part of this Big release there from Village, it was actually from Village Roadshow, Warner Brothers and Fox. And the other ones are like Alvin Purple, Cracker Jack, Crocodile Dundee, Dead Calm, Ginger by Mad Max, Priscilla Queen of the Desert, Proof and Wolf Creek. So I got this for 40 bucks, so it's actually quite good value. Yeah, there's a, there was an M-rated one as well, but I didn't buy it because I wasn't interested in that. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and um, stay tuned for part two coming soon.